Hey guys, Wild Extract here. So today we're going to be doing a pretty comprehensive video. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove this center console. And the whole reason I'm doing that is you'll see that when my car was delivered, I explicitly told the dealership not to remove this from the glossy black trim. And the reason for that is I have some 3M PPF that I'm going to disassemble this entire console and take this black trim piece out wrap it in my 3M PPF, and then reinstall everything back. So this video will be in two parts. The first part will be taking this console apart to get to this black trim piece. And the second part of the video will be actually wrapping this black trim piece so that uh, I have everything I need. So the first thing you need to do is remove the gear shift. This is pretty easy. You're just going to kind of hold the bottom portion of the collar below the gear shift and pull it down like that. Now there's a retaining pin right here. You need to slide this off. It's really important that you do not lose this pin. Okay, this pin, you need it. Then you can just pull the gear shift right off. So the next step afterwards is you're going to open this and you're going to grab the cup holders. I usually put one hand in the middle and then the other one I just support and you're going to pull straight up. It might take a little bit of finessing for you to get it, but you need to pull straight up and the whole console just comes out. Now you're going to have some cables here that you need to disconnect in order to um, get everything free. So a lot of these, they're just push cables. So you just squeeze and yank them out. And that's this piece now out. This is the piece I want here. So now we're inside, um, this is what the bottom looks like, this is what the top looks like. So this is going to be for your parking brake, this is for the illumination, for the gear selection, and this is going to be your heated seats. Uh, really, all I really want is this black plastic piece. So what that means is I got to unscrew all of these screws and that black plastic piece should come out. That also means, though, that I'm going to have to pretty much remove all of this wiring and so I can get that piece out. So I'm not going to have to touch the heated seats because this is the panel I want. But it does look like I will still need to unbolt it. So we're going to undo all of these screws and we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to uh, get all the wiring out. This one was just a push clip. This one here and this one here, um, you need some needle nose pliers. And <clears throat> the end of it basically looks like this. So you need to squeeze these two tabs and they just pop out. Okay. And uh, for the heated seat switch, <clears throat> I just uh, undid these three screws and it just uh, it just basically pushes out. So I don't really need to remove this. Um, I suppose I could if I really wanted to just so I don't get it wet or whatever. Um, 
this is good to know like if you ever spill anything on these that this is how you would change the switch out is there's a couple tabs here that you would just be able to pull and this switch would basically slide out this way and uh, you would be able to switch your heated seat switch so that they're nice and clicky if in case you spill anything but this is essentially the piece I wanted um, I could further separate the glossy piece from this black piece but um, this is good enough for me to work with uh, to uh, 3m this whole thing so a uh, moment of truth is I'm going to peel this off once I measure it and just make sure that I have enough uh, material to fully coat it um, for the gear shift there's just four clips that were here you just basically squeeze them in and the gear shift pulls out this way the gear shift uh, boot I mean so basically that's where we're at now I'm going to measure this out and then I'm going to cut my 3m piece roughly to shape the beauty of it is it looks like I have a lot of space around the sides um, it's not like anything clips on top so I can be generous with my 3m and have it go all the way into the crease so when I reassemble everything um, literally it'll be covered including the corner I won't have to just do a surface 3M like uh, like this protective sheet is. I can actually wrap the corner and make sure that uh, it's fully protected so it never scratches up. So I'm gonna cut the 3M now and we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so I've cut my 3M. As you can see, it's uh, if I was to put this on top, it's uh, more than big enough to cover the whole thing, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the protector. I'm going to prepare my soapy solution to install this. And then I have a bunch of squeegees and stuff like that that I'm going to use to install this. And then when we're done, we'll put everything back together. So here we go. Okay, so um, I have the PPF installed. Like with any PPF, all these little bubbles and stuff like that will 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 kind of go away over time as as everything dries out because it was a wet application. Uh, so for the most part, it's all done. Okay, uh, there's a few corners that I'm hoping will be held down by the rest of the trim pieces, like up here and stuff like that. But it's time to reassemble the console and see how it looks. All right, so the console's now reassembled. We're just going to put it back in the car. Okay, so we're back in the car. We're just going to put this back. Uh, just make sure that all of the connections back here are back in. And don't forget the connections that we're missing here. So this one here, and this. Big guy goes in here. Like that. Okay. This goes back in. You're gonna have to guide the gear selector thing through. And then just start from the front and work your way back, clipping everything in. Just like that. 
put your gear shift back. There you go. Don't forget your retaining clip. And then button everything back up. And there you go. It's reassembled. I hope this video was uh, was useful to you. Um, this is great if you ever want to hide like an air tag or something hidden where someone can't find it or uh, if you wanted to hide some wiring or anything like that this is how you take apart the center console. So I'm just gonna start the car just to make sure everything's my heated seats still light up. I get my gear shift lights and I have my parking brake light. So that means I'm good. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you want to see more content like this. And I'll be happy to answer any questions in the comments. Thank you.